we're going to start working out how to do multiplication and division in base 6 by building a times table for base 6. This will be our base when we start trying to solve multiplication and division problems in base 6. We're going to start by using some simple rules that you probably already know, and then we're going to do a whole lot of addition to fill in the rest of the table. So to begin with, we know that 0 times anything is 0. So I can easily fill in the 0 rows and columns. Now 1 is almost as easy. 1 times anything is the anything. So I'm going to just write down whatever the other thing is in that row or column. Now I'm going to start doing a whole bunch of addition. I'm also going to take advantage of the fact that my table needs to be symmetrical along the diagonal. So, for example, my 2 here, 1 times 2, is equal to 2 times 1. So I'm also going to expect 5 times 3 is equal to 3 times 5. But I'm primarily going to walk across a row, just adding whatever this difference is at each time, and making sure I stay within my base. So. 2 plus 2 will give me 4, but 4 plus 2 doesn't give me 6, because I don't have any 6's in base 6. 6 is actually 10. So I get 10 there. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. And 14 plus 2 will give me 20. So rather like you would expect, 2 times 10 gives me 20. 3 times 10 should give me 30. All we're doing here is multiplying 3 by the 1, and then 3 times 0. So I get 3, and then 0. So here I'd have 40, 50, but then I get 100 because I don't have a 60. And since our table is symmetrical, I'm going to go ahead and copy some of these across the diagonal. So now I'm down to nine more elements, of which I only need to fill out six. So 10 plus 3 will give me 13. 13 plus 3 won't give me 16, because I'm in base 6. That will actually give me 20. 20 plus 3 will give me 23. 23. Down here I have 12 plus 4, which will give me 20. Then 20 plus 4 is 24. 24 plus 4, you can kind of see that we're sort of repeating what we had over here but with 20 added on, so 20 matches up here, 24, next will be 32, and then the 40. So I'll copy my 23 and my 32 over here. And then I just have one more element, which will be 41. So there is my times table in base 6. We can build these for any arbitrary base you'd like. 6 is small enough that we can write it on the board relatively easily, though. Now we'll be able to use this to solve more complex problems in base 6.